found test, found test. It's your boy again. Yes, indeed. I am here on this Saturday, August the 6th, and your boy is feeling good today. He had a two for one today. Yes, he did. Yes, got a chance to get a seven mile run in. Haven't ran that long in a while, and man, physically I'm feeling great, and I also had a chance to go to church today, so I'm feeling spiritually and mentally good as well. Man, put them two together and kaboom, I am feeling great. Fam, Tess, today I just wanna to talk to you briefly on our kids. Children are going back to school this week and next week. I just want to have what we call a paradigm shift um, this year. Instead of being angry and yelling at our kids and, and fussing at them for making bad grades, let's reward them with something. Yes, if your kid come in with a bad grade, you take them out to get a treat for them. And this treat is not rewarding them for doing bad, but you should encourage them saying, I'm buying this so that because I know that next grading period, you are going to do much better. It's like rewarding them before it happens, encouraging them, motivating them to do well. Yes, they see that you are not punishing them for making a mistake or not doing good this period. It will motivate them to want to do better next time. Yes, a lot of us, the reason why we don't go out and seek to do new things or challenging things because we are so afraid to fail because we think in our minds that if we fail, then we won't get rewarded, we'll get punished. But if you bring them up, kids up as a young age, saying that, hey, you may fail sometime, but hey, don't quit. Don't quit, the reward will come um, when you start doing better. We reward you now so that we know we have faith and confidence in you that later you will do better. Fam Tess, you know I love you, and you know how we do it. Ooh, roll, have a blessed day.